If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Welcome back to Lockdown Universe, home of the bizarre, peculiar, and unheard of stories of UFO legend and lore. What's up, guys? We're back at it again, and we're here today to talk about the 1561 celestial phenomenon that occurred over Nuremberg, Germany. Now, if you haven't heard about this story, it's really interesting. It actually has illustrations and a newspaper article dating back to 1561 talking about the celestial phenomena that occurred where individuals of Nuremberg woke up at dawn to see multiple objects in the sky ranging from triangle-shaped UFOs to cylindrical-shaped UFOs to multiple different spheres and colored spheres uh, to other forms and shapes of UFOs. So let's dig in and see what, what, what other kind of information we can find. <clears throat> um, from what we know, a broadsheet news article printed in April 1561 describes this mass sighting of UFOs. The broadsheet was illustrated with a woodcut engraving and text by Hans Glasser. And it measures about two feet by three feet. And, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> 10 inches by 15 inches. Uh, it was in centimeters, so it was 26 centimeters by 38 centimeters. So it uh, looks like it's about 10 inches by 15 inches. And the document is archived in the Prints and Drawings Collection in Switzerland, in Zurich, Switzerland. Um, so this document is readily available to be seen. Uh, obviously, they wanted to record it and have it preserved for all time because it was of such great importance to them. This event obviously didn't take place too often and there's no other paintings or no other documentation that stated there was any mass sky phenomenon uh, seen or recorded, um, you know, in the last millennia, other than in 1561. So according to the broadsheet, like I said, around dawn, April 14th, 1561 in Nuremberg, the residents woke uh, to see what they described as an aerial battle followed by an appearance of a large black triangular object and then a crash outside of the city. The broadsheet claims that witnesses observed hundreds of spheres, cylinders, and other odd-shaped objects that moved erratically overhead. The broadsheet also describes the objects of various shapes, including crosses, globes, new lunar crescents, a black spear, and tubular objects from which several small round objects emerged and darted around the sky at dawn. So there's like tons of shapes and tons of crafts going on here at the same time. And what's interesting, you know, what sticks out to me right away is that there's a triangular shaped black object. Well, what other do we have other than Massive amounts of black triangular shaped objects that we see all the time since 1989. We've seen tons of them, tons of appearances with a white light at each corner and a red, red shaped or red colored dot uh, or light in the middle. And sometimes that red light uh, seems to be like some sort of tractor beam and picks up different items or beings uh, as they see fit. Now, in this broadsheet, we have the triangular-shaped object, but it also has kind of this tail coming off of the back as well. So it's a triangle with a, a tail that's 
almost triangular in itself. Now, there's no reason why, uh, you know, the author and uh, drawer of this broadsheet stated that he drew it in that manner. So it must have been, hopefully, that was the exact shape and not just like a... Um, like a propulsion coming out of the back of a triangle so if that is the case if this shape is a triangle with an additional triangle coming off the back you know what does that mean because because there's other descriptions about it being a spear spear like and if it was spear like it could have a little bit of a different shape than just a triangle so what does that mean does that mean it was a different craft does that mean it was a different species flying this craft? Um, does it mean that they were from this universe or from another galaxy? Who knows? But in this broadsheet, there is only one triangular craft uh, in the broadsheet, and that's it. There's only one. In the rest of the broadsheet, there's two... I don't know, there's more. There's about four or five, uh, maybe even eight cylindrical shaped objects and there's many 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 uh, uh, circle shaped uh, globe like objects in the uh, broadsheet in addition there's a few crosses like they stated as well as the sun the sun is in there with a smiling face so the anthropomorphic uh, sun face is in there as well okay so let's read a little bit of the text here and, and see what we find the broadsheet was translated in English, <clears throat> and it states that on the morning of April 14, 1561, at daybreak, between 4 and 5 a.m., a dreadful ab apparition occurred on the sun. And then this was seen in Nuremberg, in the city, before the gates, and in the country, by many men and women. At first there appeared in the middle of the sun two blood-red semicircle arcs, just like the moon in its last quarter. And in the sun, above and below, on both sides, the color was blood. There stood a round ball, partly dull, partly black, ferrous color. Likewise, there stood on both sides, and as a torus about the sun, uh, many bl blood-red balls uh, about three in a line, four in a square, and there, this, he also states that there was a few blood red crosses, blood red thin strips becoming thicker towards the rear, so maybe kind of kind of triangular as well. And it goes on to discuss there's many globes that flew back and forth amongst themselves and fought vehemently with each other for over an hour. There were also small and large rods that flew in and out of the sun. And when the conflict uh, began, it was most intense, and then they became fatigued to such an extent that they all, as said above, fell from the sun down upon the earth as they burned. So it seems as though as maybe as some were attacked and damaged, maybe they some fell to earth and they did describe a crash that happened on earth as these battles went on so it states that uh, whatever these signs mean only God knows uh, as written in the article uh, although we have seen shortly one after the other many kinds of signs in heaven which are sent to us by the almighty God to bring to us repentance we are still unfortunately so ungrateful that we despise such high signs or miracles of God. So it seems like they were scared of this event, highly scared of this event. They didn't want to see anything like this, that they know that, you know, according to them, God was, you know, vengeful for their sins, but concerned, they were very concerned to see some uh, sight such as this, uh, a vehement battle above their, their, their fair city. And so <clears throat> it goes on to state that um, you know, hopefully they were only temporarily here, uh, and that for, for them, hopefully God grants them help. Amen. And it was written by Hans Glosser, who was the letter painter of, of the document. <clears throat> 
So there's also some modern interpretations of what this means. And, you know, as we interpret documents and what they mean, sometimes it needs to be translated even further towards uh, current language and, and what it really means. Um, some people believe that there were cannonballs and fireballs and that this was a military exercise. However, you have to imagine that the vast majority of people who lived back then have seen war, have seen battles, and would know the difference between uh, a cannonball and some sort of aircraft that was in the sky, especially a triangular-shaped aircraft. Uh, it just seems as though it would be, be hard to believe that individuals and residents living in 1561 would confuse a triangular-shaped aircraft and a cyl cylindrical-shaped aircraft as a cannonball doesn't seem to be uh, cohesive there. Um, there were many battles between the Catholics and the Protestants during the Reformation, and, um, you know, that's some skeptics, you know, you know usage of, of their ver verbiage and their narrative that, that they were just seeing some sort of battle. But, um, you know, anybody that with any common sense, you know, would know that, you know, it's probably not a battle that they saw. It's probably some sort of space battle that actually happened. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, in the document, it doesn't talk about, you know, if anybody went to the crash site or went to go try to track down a crash site um, or to see if, you know, a, a ship had crashed and, the, and was, you know, subsequently rescued and pulled back up and would have left a gash in the countryside. Um, we don't have that information, unfortunately. Um, you know, this seems like it was written by kind of like a newspaper type editor and wanted to get the information out there, um, but didn't have all the information. And again, this is going back to, you know, before the automobile, before we had easy modes of transportation, a helicopter or any easy modes of transportation to get from one place to another to see any crash site. So if they were to do that, it would have taken days upon days upon days or, you know, maybe even longer maybe weeks or months to get to the crash site. And um, I'm sure that anyone who had seen this battle take place and wanted to, uh, you know, monopolize and monetize uh, this event, they would have tried to print it as quickly as possible for people to read. So that being said, uh, it's a very interesting event. Um, you know, it has to make you wonder a few things, you know, why hasn't this taken place more often in history or at least been more recorded in history? You know, uh, we definitely have a lot of records now, um, but why hasn't it been more documented? Um, and are there a lot of battles that take place, um, especially throughout history? Have there been a lot of battles that have taken place throughout history? This particular document is one of the only documents that states that there was an air battle that happened, obviously, between two warring species, and describes the crafts, describes the ballistics, describes that they fell to the earth, describes that, you know, they, they were strong, they were large, they were powerful, um, and that this took place over an hour. So, who were they? Why were they fighting? Was one protecting Earth, possibly, and one was fighting for Earth? We've heard in the past about genetic farmer races protecting the Earth to use the Earth for their genetic farming, and that other species have fought to get in to use Earth, but for one reason or another, these genetic farmer races won't allow them to come in and use Earth as their their scientific laboratory and they kick them out could this battle in Nuremberg 1561 have been a battle between those genetic farmer races and the potential uh, aggressors uh, towards these farmer races we don't know but it is an interesting prospect so what do you think how do you think this uh, event occurred um, do you think that it was merely just a, a battle between the Catholics and the Protestants? Do you believe that somebody would paint this uh, and create this document um, if it wasn't for 
an amazing event that occurred at this time uh, that had not been seen by anyone. Uh, questions remain. But nonetheless, it was fantastic and it can be documented and researched uh, at your leisure. Uh, so hopefully you are staying healthy and taking care of yourself. Uh, and like I always say, follow your passion um, and ask questions. There's lots of questions to be asked about this phenomenon. If you have any questions, feel free to visit me uh, at the Lockdown Universe site on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, just look up Lockdown Universe and you'll find us there. Uh, pose any questions you have. Post any ideas that you have about uh, an episode. We'd be happy to look at it for you and talk about it and, um, and get into it. Okay, until next time, Lockdown Universe out.